What's up guys? Jason of Adventure Ready, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, um, I do have an off-grid property, hence the name Adventure Ready Off-Grid. I have an on-grid property I'm at right now that we live at full-time, and we got projects galore. So this is nothing fancy, I thought I'd just share it with everyone. Um, I started off with this little rough looking mobile home you can see here <laughs> that needs a lot of work still. Um, we're actually doing the inside. We're building an outdoor gym here pretty soon. Outside of here, this will become a barbecue area. We uh, contained this area off recently to kind of get the goats and the chickens and everything out of here. But um, we do have a gigantic Great Dane. He's about 160 pounds named Apollo. And we have this little tiny porch here. So I decided to get some wood together and build him an eight foot by roughly five foot, I'd say. Four and a half foot, somewhere in that ballpark. Can't remember exactly, well, four foot. Yeah, so four foot and a couple inches. So eight foot by four foot porch that he could lay out with his chihuahua buddies during the daytime and uh, just trying to change up from what we had. So this isn't real high tech. Um, I'm not a high tech builder. I don't play a professional on here on YouTube. I'm just a normal guy that happens to own some Ryobi tools, some Makita tools, some DeWalt tools. And uh, I know where Home Depot is, as you can see all the, you can come down here and scan the labels. Ding, 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 see what this thing costs. So anyway, this is just um, pretty basic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two by six uh, by eight foot long planks. I used the same thing. I boxed out the planks on the bottom to make the frame. I used four by fours, uh, one, two, I think two, two and a half, uh, eight footers and cut them down to about 33, 31 inch tops. I think it's 34 to the top of that. I'm building to this doorstep. And like I said, this is our little shipbox mobile home that we bought last year, um, bought a whim. And we've been restoring it ever since. If you watch any of my other videos, I've done my boys' rooms both. I've done the living room. I've now done the kitchen. I'm doing both the bathrooms. And once that's done, we will be putting all brand new siding on this, brand new vinyl windows. And um, next year we'll actually bring it out 12 to 14 feet on the front, about 60 feet long, and make it into a double wide with a brand new roof. So it'll basically look like a nice cute little cottage. So um, for right now, it's kind of a shitbox, like I said. I mean, there's the water heater door. I don't think that's orig original, but a lot of stuff here is. That's not the original back door. When we got here, the door was actually kicked in. Half of it was missing. So it's kind of a transient location for uh, wandering animals to go through. So first thing I did was put a door on because you don't really want to have your family sleeping here with a, a door that's half missing. Uh, the lights hanging off there. We put a swamp cooler on this year because it got a little bit cold. It was already wired up for one, but the swamp cooler that was here was so old and corroded. It was from 1979. It was falling apart. So back to the story at hand. Um, so yeah, I just basically made a basic frame on here. Go underneath here and show you what it looks like. Um, nothing too fancy. Don't mind all the dirt and debris in here. And right now, this is sitting off the ground in this, this corner and in the middle there because this pad is just a piece, this big piece of junk here. So someone did lay a pad out over here on top of a pad. So we've been using it for our gym, our outdoor gym temporarily. Um, but yeah, so this thing is square, but the pad is not. So the idea will come in here. Once we get um, the, the pad made for the gym and move all this equipment out of here, you know, I'm going to fill this entire area with rocks. So, like pea gravel. So, I'll do pea gravel here. I'll do pea gravel up to this concrete pad over here, and that's where my barbecue and my um, griddle will sit. We'll make a little overhang over there to get a little bit of shade on that. Um, and we just want an area, like I said, we can get away from the animals a bit. Not that we don't love our animals, and not that we don't want to just hang out with our, our punching dummy. We call him Joe. Joe B for short. Um, but yeah, so we'll make this into a barbecue area. I'll make a deck similar to this and I'll lay it down over here between this pole and the wall there. So you have a little step up and that's where we'll put our little chairs and stuff and a little outdoor table to eat and relax. So, and like I said, the exterior of this is gonna be getting siding on this whole entire thing next year, uh, or next year, it's only a couple months away, right, or a month away. And then we'll do something similar to this privacy fence, but closer gaps, get the rooster in the background, closer gaps, for this bottom skirting instead of this metal skirting. We'll continue this look so this kind of has an outdoor-y type of feel. And uh, we'll put the pea gravel in here. Uh, we have some flagstone, big old chunks over here that came with the house. Um, so I might do that. I'll put some pavers in here, uh, make a nice path out of here, put some rocks in here outside the apron here to keep some of the goat poop and chicken poop down. But um, yeah, so I was just showing what I built here, something super basic. I'm not an expert on this kind of stuff. I don't claim to be one. I did run shy on wood at the bottom here. So instead of going two two by sixes on each of these steps, they're 32 inch wide, I went with a two by six and a two by four on each side because I had those. 
for a landing pad basically at the bottom. Now, I didn't carve out the steps like you see a lot of people buy those pre-mades at Home Depot for 35 bucks a piece. I figured for $7 I bought a piece of wood, chopped it in half and made my own workout. Um, we'll see how those last long term. I'm not a professional builder and I'm sure there's some rhyme or reason to why you'd make a step arch in. And what I'm talking about, a lot of people have the steps that kind of cut into here. I'm sure there's a lot of logic behind that. Um, I'm kind of a, like I said, measure once, cut twice type of a DIY guy. So um, I'm 190 pounds. My young, oldest boy is probably about 230 or so. My other boy is probably about 165 and our dog's 160. So we got a couple chihuahuas jumping up there too. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll try it out. Worst case scenario, that doesn't work. I'll come up with a different design or I'll go with conventionality and follow what I've seen other people build. So like I said, so this thing probably costs right about 150 bucks, maybe $200 to build this porch. There will be rails on here. The wood was so bad at Home Depot, I wasn't gonna try and take those bananas and turn them into a nice clean rail. So I'm gonna get some redwood pieces. I uh, always had some redwood last time. I don't think Home Depot carries it anymore. So we'll make a small rail that goes up, comes around and goes to the staircase in the front, keep the staircase open. I don't think I'm gonna put a little banister on there and let that a little, what we call handrail. I'm just gonna keep the little wrap around up here and then call it a day. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with everyone. Hope everyone's having a good time out there. If you're thinking about building stuff, uh, I guess one thing I would say, don't be shy. Get off the couch and just try and make something happen. This isn't like uh, rocket science here. It's very basic, but this is a huge difference over what we had, much more structurally sound, not falling apart. The original porch is in the original thumbnail picture. You'll see there that red thing. Um, it was a total pile of crap. Um, um, I'm not a trained professional builder, obviously, but whoever built that really, really didn't have any skills. So right on guys, take care out there, stay safe.